this is Travis White with New Blue, and today we're going to be talking about rich text styles using Titler Pro in After Effects. We're going to be talking about how to make styles with multiple style layers, using video textures, beveling, adding transition animations, as well as using the camera and light integration that Titler Pro has with After Effects. So uh, you can see this particular project right here, and we'll go ahead and play through this to see where we're going to end up. This three form logo here. We're going to see how it flies in. It has a nice extruded piece. It has a number of bevels being applied, as well as some very glossy uh, elements that the light is really reflecting off of and playing with. And we'll show you different techniques to get that kind of rich, deep look into your text that uh, your After Effects lights and your camera can really have fun with. So the first thing we want to do is go to the solid that I have Titler Pro applied to. However, uh, let's just go ahead and delete Titler Pro just so I can show you quickly that uh, Titler Pro is initially applied as an effect. You can see here in your effects palette and drag and drop it down to a solid most often and up pops the interface for Titler Pro. Let's go ahead and type our text. Three, form, and yeah, maybe bold it up a bit, maybe size it up a bit, or uh, let, let's pick a good font. So let's find something interesting like uh, Purling here. See this little handle right here? This is the XYZ handle, which is a bit of a globe. If you go ahead and check that, you get this circle, which is a globe. If you grab it in this top, you can rotate it on the upper pole, lower pole, or right around the equator here and get a 3D uh, orientation of your text. In fact, let's uh, just use the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit more, and we'll start developing the style. So we'll go to the Attributes Style tab, and right now this style is just white. Maybe we can just knock that down just a hair and bring in a little bit of extrusion. So right here we have this extrusion we can do. Uh, let's go ahead and make an extrusion of, I don't know, something like four here. And uh, we could do something like a gradient or a texture. In fact, we could do a gradient right now and uh, bring the bottom gradient up just to be a little lighter and kind of have a nice look about it. So you can see how uh, this gets developed right away. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and bring in another layer, and you'll see how layers start to develop to create a style. So I'm going to do uh, 3D drop down and choose another face. Now this uh, face right here is cutting right through the other one. In fact, if we zoom in a little bit more, you can really see what's happening here. I'm messing with the layer depth of this second face. And uh, with this face, let's do an extrusion of uh, 5 right here, which we have and maybe uh, an opacity. Let's knock down this opacity a little bit to 75 and now you can start to see how you can get some very interesting layers happening. So with this opacity down, let's also bring in a, an interesting bevel. Now if I just dial up this bevel here, you can see this nice two rounded um, pieces here in this bevel and you can actually shape whatever bevel you want with this tool. But I'm going to right click and use the simple linear line and uh, knock this down to maybe, I don't know, something a little more subtle, something like that. So now we have this nice bevel, and let's go ahead and build it in. In fact, if we can just look at the top of our composition, I want to do a backside bevel as well and make sure that this just goes right into the middle there. So in fact, now that we have this semi-transparent, let's go back to that first layer and I'll bring in uh, a texture. So let's go to the textures here. And the great thing about Titler Pro is not only do you do uh, images, but it also does video textures. There's this uh, video right here, which I can bring in to play. In fact, if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see how it's kind of sparkling from the inside. Well, uh, I don't want it to sparkle so directly. I'm going to turn on this environment map that makes a little bit of a this uh, nice glow from the inside here. In fact, if we just turn this any which way you can really see how that's operating so let's build this style up just a little bit more we'll put another layer on it so let's go ahead and bring in an outline we haven't worked with that yet so an outline initially comes in uh, just red just so you can really see it and we're gonna start working with this outline so first off it, any I can tell you this any solid color always looks uh, good with a little bit of gradient happening to it so you don't have just such a a plastic look about it. So we're going to turn on this gradient here and uh, first thing we want to do is maybe get the same red in both gradient points and then the lower gradient point maybe we'll just knock it down just a little bit to have kind of a nice gradient about it. 
So uh, next thing we want to do is bring up some thickness. We can bring it up to you know five or knock it down. I'd, I'd like uh, for this composition maybe to be somewhere a little thinner, maybe around three or so. And we can start settling that back in its position. Uh, one thing we want to do here is bring in a little bit of bevel. In fact, if we uh, let's zoom in really close here, and you can see what this bevel's doing uh, just on the edge right here is uh, we could go ahead and bring in a rounded or a single curve bevel and just just enough bevel so that it takes that edge off so something around you know 0.9 maybe something maybe a little less now that looks good right there and that's gonna help us have a really nice polished design in fact if you drop down into this particular style and bring up that shininess notice how that bevel now is really catching catching light and that's what we want it to do we want that bevel edge to really catch light so we'll zoom out a little bit and we know that we want this particular uh, outline to not be too thick so let's uh, knock this down to four and again with our layer depth kind of position it right in the middle here so that looks good so now we want to put on yet another outline so let's uh, close this one up bring on another outline here and now we'll start kind of thickening up and having this nice uh, multi-layered bevels going on. So we'll have an extrusion of three, let's say, to really make it kind of shorter than all the rest. And instead of being red, maybe we want to do something like a, like a texture. So we can go get an image texture. We could get any of these textures. I could pick this sky, uh, turn on the environment map if I wanted to, uh, pick something that has a little bit of rough texture to it. But what I'm going to do is pick an image, this reflection, this is kind of the soft satin kind of look. It's kind of a cool look there. And uh, we want a, a nice rounding to that as well, and a bevel of 12. So let's bring in a little bit of bevel on this one. And this one we want to have a, that single curve again. 0.12 would be really nice. There we go. And uh, we can zoom in and really see what this thing's doing. So you can really see that there's this nice edge to it. And it's got a little bit of shine. Let's pump that up a bit with this uh, shininess factor here. So finally, uh, one great thing that we can do with this uh, particular style, in fact, let's uh, pump up the thickness of this one just a little bit. There we go. Now, a great thing we can do here is bring in something that's a little bit of a faux, uh, faux gloss or kind of a glossy edge, a lot of... Uh, you know, image graphic artists do this kind of thing, as where we'll add another layer, and we have a preset actually, it's called Gloss Face. You just knock that on right there, and bring it forward so you can see it, and in fact we'll zoom in a little bit more so you can, and to the side, so you can see what this is. It's a semi-transparent gradient, which has uh, this just nice look to it. In fact, if we open that up, you can see what the gradient tool's done to get that gloss face. All right, so we've got a, a pretty good look here, three form. Now, lastly, we want to go maybe back to the object and just reset that, that rotation. And I'm going to size this down a little bit and stick it to the side because I want to grab one of the characters and do a little bit of styling here. I'm going to size this up so it kind of has this nice uh, different look to it, the three much larger than the form. And then also what I'm going to do, I wanted to bring in a vector shape. So let's go ahead and grab a vector image. Bring in the shape. Now it's black right now, so let's just simply go to the style layer, just push around the color a little bit, and now we have white. So uh, let's size that down a little bit get that in front and we want to do a couple of the same things that we were working doing uh, with the uh, the three form so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and have this 3d face here and we can put a texture on it and let's in fact let's put a video texture on so uh, this there's this great kind of glowing uh, video in fact if we go ahead and play this you can see that in the letters if I turn on environment map you start to really see a nice kind of shine about it let's get a little closer to this guy and turn him in space just so you can see what's being developed. Now we want to do a bit of an extrusion on here. Let's say an extrusion of five or so. There you go. 
and a little bit of a bevel. So we want to do a linear bevel. So let's choose linear from our preset list and cut a little bit of a bevel into there. Maybe something like uh, yeah, 0.06. That looks pretty good. Got a nice look to it. And uh, finally, we want to put a bit of an outline on here as well. So let's go ahead and throw an outline on. And let's just pick uh, white. Knock that white down just a little bit. And uh, we'll do some extrusion, maybe a four. There we go. Something like that. And we want to bring that a little forward. And it's pretty darn thick. I want to knock that thickness down to a two. That's looking a lot better. And uh, maybe just a little bit of a bevel, in fact, uh, on this on this outline here, just so it just doesn't look so hard. We'll do a single curve. And we'll bring just a little bit of a bevel, and you can see it right there. We're going to include the backside as well. So we'll slide this out with my mouse wheel. There you go. There's a nice logo. So I can go back to the object and reset my rotation and uh, reset my position even. And um, shoot, let's just slide that right over there. And now we want to do some animating inside Titler Pro that we can complement inside the After Effects composition. So the first thing we want to do is maybe with uh, three form, we want this to come in somehow, some kind of transition into being. So we could go to the library and transitions here. It's something like a uh, fly in. So in fact, if I just click falling letters, you can see what that looks like. But let's do a fly in that's maybe the uh, fast right. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop that down. And I'm going to turn it from word to letter. So now we have one letter coming in and then the next one. And I don't want them to maybe be so hard. Maybe I want a fast in instead. So we have this kind of nice move of these coming in like that. And then the uh, this logo here, this triad logo, we want to get a couple transitions on there as well. So let's go back to the library and let's bring in a spin back. That's a, a great piece here. We can go ahead and hover over a couple of these presets and see what this is going to do. Well, let's go ahead and uh, drag this down and apply it and we can see how we can modify this because we can uh, change you know, how these pieces come in. In fact, if I just stick it right up in the corner there, you have this great kind of rotation of uh, these three pieces. So you have this great interesting um, transition happening. So uh, we can throw on a second transition which would complement this one, something like uh, maybe a fly past, so we'll do fly past here. Now to make these look really good, you want to slow them down a bit. So I'm going to actually dial these up so that they are a full four seconds long. And I'm going to do the same thing with uh, the three form text as well. So now let's go ahead and play this inside Titler Pro. You got the three form coming in, and then you've got these characters flying down. That looks really great. There we go. So we can close that down into the uh, title of the project. There we go. And so now, when we go ahead and play this, we're going to click play, and you can see pretty fast we're getting our preview of how this whole thing's working uh, inside New Blue Titler Pro. Now it's pretty bright. You know why is that? Well, that is because we're using both the in the lights shown the Titler Pro lights and the AE lights. Let's show the AE lights only. Now we're looking pretty good, so we're not piling up lights. Let's go ahead and play that again. Great, that three form comes into play. I have a, this nice turn on it, turns into position. Our logo flies with the three pieces into position just like that. And you have a really nice piece. It has a nice flicker, nice depth about it, and uh, really has really has a good look. In fact, we can inspect some of this and see how is the AE light are really performing on this. Let's open up the camera here and let's just turn on our camera tool and let's uh, do a zoom in here to really see how this stuff is playing. So you can see that it really has this nice reflection about it in all these different pieces here. You've got this uh, nice video reflection on the inside. Uh, you've got this more of a faux reflection. Um, and all these different bevels happening in 3D space. It's a really great piece. So we'll go ahead and delete this keyframe that we just made. And again, 
we can play through that and you can see what the performance is in uh, creating these frames just kind of on the fly it's a uh, pretty fast and so this is it this is how to make a rich title using multiple layers inside titler pro uh, for after effects users i'm travis white thanks for watching